We've all gone into our Facebook pages ready to make a post for our optometry page, but you go onto Facebook and then you notice a couple of notifications and you click to see who's made a comment or a like on your post. And before you know it, you're quickly watching other videos or scrolling through your newsfeed. And it can be hard to get back on track. Well, today I wanted to share with you a free desktop plugin on Google Chrome that can help you to stay focused and to be able to get more out of your time on Facebook for your Facebook page. Take a look at this. I was listening to a podcast and I heard this great app on Google Chrome called Newsfeed Burner. It's a free app and it's something that you add to Google Chrome and whenever you go to Facebook, it'll disable the newsfeed so that you, or it'll hide the newsfeed so that you can't see it. And it also works on LinkedIn and YouTube as well. So let's go ahead and add Newsfeed Burner. So we click on the Add to Chrome button, Add Extension. There we go, Newsfeed Burner has been added to Google Chrome. This is my Facebook newsfeed at the moment. You'll see the normal newsfeed in the middle, but when I go ahead and click the Refresh button, you'll see what this extension does. It's completely hidden that middle column, which is the newsfeed, and it just lets you focus on groups or pages, you'll still be able to see notifications in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to click on those. But this is just one less way of, of seeing the news feed and getting distracted when you've got some important things to do. It has this button called procrastination mode and it enables you to switch it off for 15 minutes, about as long as you'd want to have a break and then it'll re-enable again once you, after 15 minutes. And this is YouTube, again showing the newsfeed. And then I'll re-enable newsfeed burner. Here's an example of the YouTube newsfeed. This is before using newsfeed burner and that's what happens afterwards. So we can still see the banner ad up the top, but the actual feed itself is disabled and it makes it easier to go directly to what we wanna to go to, like your subscriptions or your own channel. Of course, if you're using Facebook on your smartphone, there's also a dedicated pages app, like the one on iPhone. This allows you to create posts directly from the app without having to find your news feed, go to your page and then create a post. It's a quick way to create posts and it's also a good way to add live videos or events too. And you can also see some of your analytics or statistics too, which is great to have. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope this is gonna help you to stay focused on your social media and to be able to get more results for your page with fewer distractions from the newsfeed. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And also share this video with a friend or a colleague who might find it interesting. Thanks again for watching. Please stay tuned for more.